listen there are families that their warfare almost never ends they don't know why from one trouble to another today your father is in a police station as soon as he's finishing he's going to court as soon as he's done they are implicating him in the office as soon as he's done they they rob from your shop as soon as they are trying to manage the daughter gets pregnant then the brother starts taking something there is a pattern that is responsible for that nothing just happens there are families where it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working you are as a man your hand will not bring bread back home i have met people i know they are not lazy i know they are not lazy what of people who travel and go abroad and the devil just orchestrates it that the security just catches them one person and they deport them back they didn't do anything wrong the only person who was helping the mother in the village and all the siblings now the guy was going to a mall and police just catches him and said there was a robbery here and they, where are you from nigeria go back and the person returns back to the village from where he came from and you will see an old man laughing in the village and say i told you no matter where you go you will come back the old man doesn't have visa he's never gone to the airport but he can make a man leave italy and come back and sit down and then we get up and say don't worry everything will be all right come on now there is a deliverer that must arise i i know i know the business i did with god in deep waters to break what i am doing now the level of success in my life is is almost a taboo from my paternal side i never saw anybody rise like that my father is a good man one of the most honest men i've met in my life there are families anyone you train nobody will ever become anything useful nobody there are some of our parents they started sending children to school before you were born but out of the over 30 children not one of them is useful today the most useful person is sweeping the road somewhere what is that i hear the chains falling shabalakatoska brandishia Mighty the chain falling. Mighty the chain Hallelujah. There are families where nobody ever becomes a leader. No matter how you rise, you only make it by serving. You never get to a point where you are served. A man can work for 10 years when he's almost getting to the highest rank. A scandal will come up that he knows nothing about. They demote him until he retires. My brother, my sister, nothing just happens. Our destinies have been manipulated by forces we may not know. And just because of imbalances here and there, which I will show you, many have rejected this. Some of you, as you are sitting now, I just described your life to you you know you love god you are praying but nothing is changing nothing is changing you are praying you are fasting nothing is changing i know somebody that did like four or five universities never finished one never you leave this one and go there they say you are an occultist you leave this one and go there they say something happened to your result your result is not correct you leave this one and go there and there is problem not i'm opening your eyes i'm showing you how this relates to you a gentleman sent me a text he had gotten his visa he got everything he got yellow card yellow card at the airport is where they stopped him and said where did you get this yellow card did you get I said, what is all this one now i use a travel agency i'm traveling say no took the guy to custom office blah 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 this and that happened they seized the passport sent him back footballer footballer that was going had already got it those teams that can invite you to go and play this guy was god was sending him to now bring bread for the parents and at the airport one devil somewhere just stops that person he will return back the house you are staying 
is the house your grandfather stayed for 40 years your father could not build one you too you are staying there have you seen families where all the brothers with their married wives stay in the same house with the parents and the grandparents is that what the bible says doesn't the bible say a man should leave his father and mother but you leave something brings you back grandfather is in the same house grandmother is in the same house the brother is in the even as a pastor part of the veranda is being used for night vigil and regardless of the night vigil and the prayer nothing is happening how many vigils have we done how many prayer sessions have we done how many men of god have been in ministry and you will think being in ministry will automatically get them free from this regardless of their ministry and anointing this spirit seemed to just veto them just like that abraham as anointed as abraham was for 25 years abraham had no child it's not just a faith issue because you see it in isaac abraham slept with hagar once and a child came so it was not just about barrenness he was not barren it was a conspiracy it was a fight of destiny are you getting what i'm saying now could you say that abraham was abraham was not impotent hagar was there gave him a child and yet Sarah could not give him a child 25 years Isaac with his own too are we together now all kinds of troubles by the finger of the devil have you paid attention to look at your life what of the hardship the inexplicable hardship that is in our lives hardship there is no ease at all no matter what you do you are brilliant you are educated you started working by 23 you already had phd yet nothing is happening that's the finger of satan and for many of us we have seen it in dreams but you see it in dreams and get up and say no 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 don't worry let me just ignore it i don't think anything is right some of you cannot go to bed in the night i've shared with you my story when i will go to bed in the night and demons will come to press me as a man of god oh i'm not saying an unbeliever filled with the holy spirit and these demons will not respect this anointing i will go to bed in the night and these demons will come and press me i will shout jesus like i was told to shout not one time did jesus drive them i mean something is wrong because the bible cannot lie there is something we need to know when the lord showed me i was free oh, and my assignment is that god will open your eyes so that you will see some of you will be surprised that after this series all the seven jobless people in one month will get jobs like that so you will now know that until deliverance happens upon mount zion there is no possession of anything oh i will help you bring your cv it's nonsense you are wasting your time how many people have gotten scholarships hey, Jimmy? how many people have gotten grants how many people have gotten millions some of our parents have sat down on over one billion but as it is right now they can't bring out hundred thousand it's not normal let me tell you if this thing is not addressed i promise you it can wait for you for 40 years and catch up with you you will think just because you are 25 years 30 35 you are free the day it catches up with you how about people who labor when they are about to eat of their labor they just mysteriously whether through sickness or accident or whatever inexplicable coincidence nobody ever eats of their labor they work and live for others now please don't feel bad if what i'm saying relates to your loved ones god is opening your eyes because you are the savior that will arise from zion some of us today our mothers have told us don't ever bring a poor man do you know why because of something that they saw there is a yoke upon their family all the women suffer they enter wicked marriages where they suffer like slaves and so in an attempt to help you say look go and bring a rich man 
bring as prosperous a man as you can get and don't be free from what I'm telling you and watch the drama that happens when that ring enters your heart. This is what I do every day. It's like a lecturer that has been teaching. If my life did not experience this, it would be that I'm just talking because of people. I've been a victim of what I'm sharing for you. That look, study the ministries in Zaria. They don't reach three years safely. Something must arise and happen. Find out how many men of God have been in this city for many years. And look at the track record that follow. It's not that they are bad. There are spirits. There are powers. There are yokes. And if our eyes are not open to it, then we are getting into trouble. Are you ready to pray again? I'd like you to say, Lord, in this series, the challenge in my life and my family must come to end. Shandala Masada Bakuriata. Hey.